Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Pop up out that cut, bro, try and hit a nash We gon' have to kill for any disrespect RPs be ripping when they in the flash Why you kill me out? I ain't finished yet uh, Running up them rackies, just get bro a check I'ma bring you back some money, just got one What it is, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you, you know who I be Follow me on IG, Fada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi Salute to my man K100 with the promo record, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, um Geechee Gotti versus Murder Moot. Now, I see so many different people with so many varying opinions about this battle. I have watched the battle more than once. They got apps for that. I knew it would take, you know what I'm saying? I had to watch. I had to break down every round that I've sketched out. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? SP was by. We did a, a live reaction. But this is when I put some thought into it. I wanted to talk about this battle again. Homecoming, URL comes back to New York. Quite obviously, they haven't been in New York for five years. It's been all over the place. They battled in L.A., Atlanta, Houston, uh, freaking overseas. They've been everywhere. So I see the complaints. I see a lot of people saying, oh, gas, 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 whatever the case may be. Now, when I look at the battle from, I look at things from, from the intro to the beginning, to the start, to who goes first, transitions, stumbles, whether it be Ch I look at all things considered. Not just the original part. So Geechee Gotti comes out and he's got the Yankee coat on, you know what I'm saying? But he's from neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? He's from the West, Nutty Block, excuse me, he's from Nutty Block. Uh, he represents the Crips, they wear NBNY, they, they, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, a, it's a Yankee thing. So he comes over, he comes out with the NY coat on. He starts chatting from the beginning. I know where I'm at, I know where I'm at. I just got off the plane, you know what I'm saying? Like he's like Snoop Dogg coming to crush the buildings, you know what I'm saying? I know where I'm at. And he seemed pretty comfortable in the beginning of his first round. I'm not going to hold you. He comes out. He has composure. It seemed to me where well, uh, I've watched a lot of Geechee Gotti battles. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, everyone on URL I've watched. And I've watched most of the ones that um, he had in the other joints. So he comes out and he talks about the free cash. He didn't put no money on his books. He comes out freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Mook, when Mook took the shirt off and he had the free cash and over shirt. He starts talking about the publicity stunt. But you ain't put no money on his books. And then he said, nigga, why you threw that weak ass punch at Briz? He starts doing the weak punch at Briz line. The crowd is eating it up a little bit. And then he sees Sirius Jones with him. He probably, he had already had it in the tuck, but Sirius Jones in the beginning was definitely doing a lot. We gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. So he says, uh, down his head, down on his leg, down on his foot. You know what I'm saying? He takes that old, so many dots on the ground, they'll need a blind man to read the dots at the crime scene. Uh, he had a line about the the um, the AR spitting. I was the, the the sky and the ground I was hitting. They had to call an amber alert on my first mission. I was just a kid missing, like just basically missing, basically talking about missing shots. That was cool. Uh, the bullets been through so much it need therapy. Uh, come home to a murder suicide like Chris Benoit. He starts talking about how his old dad just started to learn how to use Twitter. And then he starts talking about him being in spaces. You have to pause between every letter. When he did that, the crowd started to like subside a little bit. I'm telling you, I watched this shit more than once because I'm not like I, I got. I'm a fan of a lot of battle rappers, and I fuck with the battle rap shit. And I got over a thousand videos on this channel, but I really want y'all to know how I feel about this and every single moment throughout this battle, how I felt. So the crowd started to get a little chippy when he does the. Uh, the spaces line. He says, uh, dissolve murder like an acid bath. He had, uh, you know, everybody eating. It's a potluck. Uh, Mama told the detectives. This was one of the lines that really, 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 really um, got the crowd going for Geechee. My last op, I put some bucks in it. I put some bucks in him. His mama said she already knew it was happening. She had a gut feeling. That shit was fire. This is the Geechee I be used to. Like, these are the lines, like, impact. Big Geechee, big stage boss. Where's the big stage boss? You battling murder mook 
in New York. Niggas want big stage bars. Like, the gut feeling, a big stage bar. Can I keep it going? He says then, uh, every, everything I did back then, I could rap about it now. I was a content creator saying that I'm, I was a content, you know, YouTube was a content creator. But he's saying everything that he did in the past, he could rap about now. Statue of Limitations, being a content creator. Thought it was dope. Um, he goes into, uh, he stays in that pocket of flows. He says, uh, he says, not gonna look like murder, turned on the manslaughter, stuffed in a box with his mouth open. This nigga's a munch. Um, gun titles with the strap, it got AMG. Then he had a, <clears throat> a White Lives Matter line, but he kind of like replaced the word. We seen, he was supposed to say we seen the yay sell out as soon as the White Lives Matter, but he said something about Caucasian and then White Lives Matter. I was kind of looking at like, what is he talking about? But then he said, he said it again. Like, he has this thing where if he misses a line or if he clips or slips a line, he'll repeat it. He repeated it, it got over, but even when he did repeat it, it was just cool. Um, the DVD era getting smacked with the cannon should bring you deja vu. That got some dope reaction. Uh, he said, bad job trying to cover up murder like John Bonet Ramsey's parents. That was cool. Uh, pop murder, Marvin Gaye ain't got no aim. But he got heart though, saying that, you know, he was saying that the niggas was online saying they shot at him, they ain't got aim, but they got heart though. Uh, the shit I say, they ain't gotta they ain't gotta react, they gotta reflect. Like those type those type of lines, they ain't gotta react, they gotta reflect. That was fire. Uh, the fucking other one that he had, uh, I was a content creator, fire. Um, he had another one in there where he said uh, he said the the, the line about uh, the shot in the stomach, it was a gut feeling. These are the bars that niggas is looking for when you're on a big stage. I'm sorry. And then you're battling in New York. Geechee's had home court advantage in a, a bunch of battles. He had home court advantage versus Lux. He's battling against Moot. <clears throat> I'm not taking no cut off of nothing because it happens all the time. Nigga get home court advantage here. Nigga get home court advantage there. You are all been all around the world for the last five years. If they go to New York, you got to know that you're in New York. So, and Irving Plaza is a different monster. I've been there before. Irving Plaza is different. Moot comes out. It says, throw the do-rag on to free the wave. He said, I wanted to kill you. Uh, since you're from the city that they killed Biggie, the crowd starts going off. He said, what the fuck is a porch, bruh? We had stoops. He said, and with the stoops, prevent it with steps downs or walk-ups. I like that. Uh, the Joker could go with any suit, point it at his chest, make him puke. Relevant. And it worked. Uh, put a price on your head like a prostitute. I probably heard this cock and shoe. I put a price on your head like I probably heard that line since fifth grade, but so what? It, it, was, it worked there. He said, only thing hiding behind a tree is the deuce deuce in my constructions. I liked it. Seafood seasoning, old bay shit. Um, he said, the only loke I'm concerned with is its location that works. Uh, K on the Crips, this is a throwaway. He said, this is one of them. Um, Gotti names proves he's somebody behind the Gotti the mob made you. John in front of it, both died behind bars. John Gotti died behind bars. Geechee Gotti, he's saying, is dying behind his bars. Um, <clears throat> he says, uh, clip a foot long and it got a sock on it. That shit was crazy. I don't have no cut or bias for none of these niggas. If some shit was fire, I'm gonna say it was fire. Clip long as a foot and it got a sock on it. Uh, what the sock is on it for, when you're starting to shoot, you ain't got a shell catcher. The shell catchers get caught in the sock. I'm fucking with it. Um, clip long as a foot, it got a sock on it. Uh, he had the no studio in, the no studio in. They'll have to find a casket to put your whole studio in. Uh, then, he's, then he said, what up, 50? Irving got him, Murdy. I'm the reason why you... Then he hit him with the pop smoke line at the end. You think we not going to pop smoke for pop smoke? Uh, he says... Blow your candles out, welcome to the party. With what Geechee had was cool, but there were not enough big stage moments to beat the material. I'm looking at strictly the material. Geechee got it down 1-0. Murder Mook had more the material. And I, I, my prediction was for Geechee got it. I am good enough to watch a battle and not be biased based off my prediction. I will never, I'm not doing that, period. If a nigga gave it up, give it, I'm gonna give it up. That's just the way it goes, like, period. The nigga, I feel like watching the shit more than once, there were moments and segments in Geechee Round, even when he got to the part with the yay sell out, the white lives matter. I hated that fucking bar anyway, but still, he didn't get it out correctly. Everything Murder Mook said he got out correctly, and that's all three rounds. 
No slips, no blips, no stumbles, no repeating words, no, like, yeah, 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 no freestyling, no none of that shit. Let's keep it going. Second round, uh, Geechee Gotti comes out. He gonna say a whole bunch of big records and it's got y'all hypnotized. It was a, you know, it, he did the big references, the big records, and he's saying that it would have the crowd hypnotized. They really ain't react to it, though. Uh, Should have got jazz for murder. She's used to answering those type of calls. That works. Uh, the doctor's got to help with murder. Uh, he says they slide, he said they slide with murder like the cops niggas hammers. Then he had the uh, hammers ain't for horsing around like the Valkyrie. He said, I mistake my C's for E's. Next time I wrote those letters, I was in a cell. I like that joint. Then he went to an angle about recording the private conversation and it got released. That got the conversation with Drake. He said that basically he was saying that you released the conversation with Drake and that's the reason that URL don't, the Drake don't fuck with URL no more. He said, because that type of shit, hearing a call being monitored or recorded, you know how much they hate that shit. He said, the budget cuts is because of you. Sat down with Dame Dash on the Breakfast Club and you still was a chatty patty. He said, go to jail for some shit you wasn't questioned for. He said, if you record a private conversation, it makes me believe that you'll give a statement. Got slapped by math with a gun, and he went on his podcast. In my expert opinion, nigga, you's a bitch. Relevant content. In my expert opinion, nigga, you's a bitch. That shit landed, I'm not gonna hold you. This is why he's fighting through heckling. I'm not taking no cut off the fact that he was fighting through heckling, fighting through talk, but you knew what he was battling at when you signed a contract. You knew it was Urban Plaza. I understand that you haven't battled before there, but you knew niggas who battled there before and what it was. You got, I gotta take this shit for what it is and what it was. These guys get paid a lot of money to know where you battling, who you battling against, what material to use, how to direct it, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so then, he says uh, another line that I like, uh, the, the, the you're not gangster angle. He said, you're a buster with rhymes, nigga. That's why, they signed, that's why he signed you. They love me in New York. They give me guns when I land. He said, uh, you just DNA if Rex wasn't his cousin. I like that. Life was just like 2K. You can literally push a square to shoot. I love that joint. He been working for Smack the whole time. It says Smack DVD, not Smack and Mook DVD. Fire. Uh, you got this as your means of income, bad battles, breakdown. These checks he's giving you are strictly off loyalty. Got the nerve to swing and fuck up the money you ain't even making. Thought that was fire. Uh, brains don't work. Even prison, he's a, even prisons updated from just bars to metal doors. He said, Briz show you have trouble landing haymakers on a big stage. Seen a lot of lives not take off over a dice game. This spot I got in was an accidental murder. Take off lives, dice game spot I got in wasn't an accidental murder. You know, take off was allegedly accidentally murdered. I felt a lot of the material that Geechee would start. His second round is his best round of the battle, but still, schematically, there are certain points where I feel, and this is just my personal opinion, Geechee, you know, I fuck with Geechee, he's on my intro, and I feel like if I'd have gonna react to this, I've been fucking with Geechee for a long time. But in this stage, in this setting, you know what I'm saying? This material in the second round to me, I was fucking with. Uh, Mook comes out. Uh, the felony favor, he says that don't mention it. He says uh, he has the line about uh, shit spinning Magic Johnson live. I could still live with it. Uh, hit the dope, so many stamps. He had to get another passport. 160 on the dashboard. Then he had the uh, next opponent will be across from a Ouija board. Uh, he's got to be looking for spaces to put the body. He had the left hands like it was all right. He had the pop trunk. This, the, the, yo, you hide behind the tree. I'm going to pop the trunk. I'm trying to get to the root of this. This nigga got me stumped. Like, Murder, Murder Mook has a way of putting together these long ass schemes. And this scheme was working. You got to the root of this. You got me stumped. Uh, I'm going to pop the trunk like this shit was working. The funny thing is, he, uh, even through, regardless of what people say about his style, about his flow, he found one night to make this shit deliver. And yes, they was over, Sirius Jones was super overreacting. I was so glad, because they had him in the front at first, and he was doing all the shit, they broke to the bar, he was doing all this shit. Then they moved him back a little bit. I don't know how they moved him back a little bit, but they got that nigga up out the front row, which was cool, because he was doing some action gassing, I'm not gonna lie. But, Murder Moose shit was still hitting. Um, he says, uh, Bullets, he said that song by the Migos, Bullets should have taken off, took drugs, and then went through the moon. URL broke Av down, left him shattered, turned him into gravel, 
Then he had that every fucking ball. This is an easy fucking battle. You should ask. <laughs> He's an ebony fucking everybody. I got every fucking bullets for every fucking gun. Like, he was wilding with that EFB part. He broke down all of BF, EFB. This is an easy fucking battle. Danny is big with the words. We know how he know how to play Scrabble. I'm not even looking at my notes this much. It's impactful shit. Impactful shit stays in your mind once you watch it once or twice. I don't have to read the notes. I don't have to schematically think. That EFB scheme was fucking crazy. Easy fucking battle. He said, uh, she fucking, he, she fucking every fucking body. I got every fucking bullet for, every, yo, he was bugging with that EFB shit, period. Regardless of the fact. Uh, and then he ends it with, uh, he said, he said, who root for Bay in here? I'll turn it to Bay root in here. That shit was fire. Then he said, I'm so New York, I took the train to get over here. Anybody that knows New York, I'm from New York, from the Bronx, 233rd, White Plains Road, respectfully. I'm from up, up, uptown. Niggas know the train is a grimy, dirty environment. When you leave the train, you need to take a shower. I don't give a fuck what hour of the day is, what day of the week is. Nigga cannot get on the train and come to your crib and sit on the bed or sit on the couch. You have to take a shower. The Ninja Turtles came from the fucking train. They came from the sewer. They was down there. The trains in New York is fucking horrible. Murder Moot. I got Murder Moot very closely. I got him up 2-0. I'm sorry. Like, Geechee had some moments in the second round, but Murder Moot, he's still, he's still styled on him. Period. Third round. Uh, EFB. Um, I say EFB. Geechee got it in his third round. He comes out. He says, uh, what he says, what he says, what he says. Give it to him, Vada. What he said. He said that, uh, what did he say? My, my, my shit's acting up real quick. Oh, and I got a light on, too. We all fucked up right now. Um, so, third round. <laughs> Geechee says, and I quote, uh, I actually sold hair to bitches just like you. It was a rebuttal, it was a freestyle rebuttal, but at this point, the crowd had already been chanting too old for Mook and shit like that. It was really like, they sided with who they sided with. Uh, he says, when I'm in their city, they behind and behind me, scared to branch off, don't want to be by my side, they don't want to leave. They got some reaction for it. A press conference, he starts talking about the press conference. He says uh, he had an R.I.P. Kanika Jenkins line. He uh, ain't seen son in forever. I'm like 50. He had a hospital clothes line. I earned my cap and gown in a different way. The doctor said he was fully charged. Smoker, do the job. Uh, don't take your, he'll take your life for granted. You know, I'll smoke and do the job for some rock. He'll take your life for granted. Granted, there's a rock. Smoke, take your life for granted. Granted, I like to, to put together... Um, and that, and that, and that part, but the crowd, they just gave him a, uh, it wasn't too much. Um, he said, I, I had sold keys, I, my grandma thought I was a locksmith, I like this line, got shot in the quad, they thought it was a pocket. Where's this shit at the whole battle, though? Like, you battling Murder Moo in New York, you gotta have impactful bars the whole fucking battle. Like, it has to be a whole battle, it can't be, this is the same shit that happened with Hollow the Don. When he battled Hollow, it was one round, though. He had one crazy, crazy, crazy round. He took that round from Hollow. The other two rounds, they was kind of shaking, and Hollow got him. In this, I'm seeing a lot of the same thing. And the thing is, I'm not saying Gishi Gotti is, uh, is, is getting mid. I'm just thinking that at a point, there's some comfortability in it. Because when you're starting off your round freestyling, and then second parts in your round, you freestyling, and then other parts, you start trying to talk about the nigga in the crowd. The crowd starts heckling you. You freestyling. And then in the, in the end of Gishi's third, uh, Gichi also says, so I'm going to just keep going through the round real quick. So he says, uh, he says, I put my trust in people. I should have put a bullet in. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer fell in love with death. Really didn't like it. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on the Jeffrey Dahmer. And Mook had a line, Jeffrey Dahmer could eat it there. I, I, that's not, I'm good. Y'all, I'm good on those lines. They cool, but I'm good on them. Uh, he says, uh, Jones and Mano, they don't want to see you on the stage in the lobby, boy. Uh, the difference, this is another one. Uh, the difference between our sentences, like consecutive co or concurrent, he never had a sentence that was consecutive or concurrent. I like that. Highlighting, just showing you the error in my ways, I wasn't perfect. Ray J, yay, hit it first, but I took this bitch to a different level. Uh, he had the New York, I love this shit more than you. He said, uh, in New York, my niggas fought for blue, they wore the blue. I, I love this NY more than you. I, he probably thought that that was going to hit more than it did, and it didn't. Um, he has a line... Where he says, uh, this dude up here with this goofy ass Sirius Jones, rock shine, they, they, they left you where they found you weird. He said, having a conversation with a real dude is a win within itself. He started freestyling towards niggas and then he said, like, yo, y'all better start cheering or y'all gonna stand up here and boo me all night. The crowd really, really, really got 
to Geechee in this battle. He may not never admit it, uh, but the crowd definitely did get to him. Let me get through Moose, third. Uh, tell Briz to run over the rock and lock the door. Everyone in attendance came to look. He had a Pat Stay joint, the 357 Pat Way. He was talking about Pat Stay. He was talking about game. Um, Geechee dissing Pat Stay for game. And then he said, you want to go to Pat Stay? You can say it to Pat's face and the 357 Pat. They had angles, but the way Murder Mook was putting his angles together, for, they was better. But Murder Mook is a better angler than Geechee anyway. He's a way better. He can go on a scheme for a long This has always been it. But... The way Gotti was putting his angles together, some of them hit, some of them didn't. When Murder Mook was putting this shit together, they was a lot of impactful. The tree, stump, trunk, boom, boom. The Pat stayed, 357, Pat Way. Uh, everyone in attendance just to look at you go. Funeral always wins, acts hustle. Uh, he said hard, then a hard cuz, cuz Mar cuz, use a Mar cuz. Like, this shit, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I could really end this shit right now, but I'm not going to. He said, you a Mar cuz, the Mar cuz. He said, the shit that you say will make sure you don't be here to Mar cuz. I remember this because it's impactful material. Now, when I'm looking down, reading, I look down, I read certain shit, but when I get to a line like, the Mar cuz, the Mar cuz, the Mar cuz, like, that shit was fire. Uh, the Walgreens angle, uh, the tie the knot around your wife, I like that. Uh, the Doughboy, when the credits go up, you found out Doughboy died when the credits go up. Uh, he had to, you, you, you'll hear the, you'll hear a detox before you hear this clip drop. Uh, he said, uh, he said, he talked about his man died here. He said, even my mom died upstairs. And then he had to, the, 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 close the door on the whole battle is when he starts going at noon. He he says, uh, she couldn't fuck Beasley, so she fucked Smack. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't fuck Smack, so she fucked Beasley. He said, uh, you fucked Eric, right? Hope you catch AIDS so when you die, I can say easy. Easy. Uh, I watched it again. I got Murder Mook 3 up. Um, you could, I, I guess if people want to try to throw a little debate in for that second. But I've been watching Geechee Gotti long enough to know that you need three impactful rounds with material that's going to hit. His first round, the energy was there in like the first half of the first round. And when he seen and when he realized that that crowd reaction wasn't going to be what he thought it was in New York or he wasn't getting the love that he probably felt he should have got, it affected him. I hear him heckling with people in the crowd. I'm up here working, cuz. I'm up here working. Yeah, you right there with the glasses. Now it's to the point, when you bombing and you having them big ass rounds, like whether versus Tay Rock or whether versus Surf or in any of them battles, he's not paying attention to nothing going on in the crowd. He's not talking to no niggas in the crowd. He's not going back and forth. He's just bombing on niggas. When he was rapping against Mike P, he's not talking to nobody. He's killing the person that's in front of him. But then, once the game, it's like the playoffs in the NBA. It becomes a half-court game. Once you can't run fast breaks anymore, can you execute in a half-court game? Um, did I feel like the battle was winnable going into it? Yes, I felt like Gotti could have won. Uh, execution means everything, though. Execution means everything. A lot of the material that you have, some of the material that both of y'all had was not that great. You know, he and Dick, he Jeffrey Dahmer, and Jeffrey Dahmer, I fell in love with death, and the yay sell out, the white lives matter, like those type of lines, that's cool, but that's not gonna get you past a big name MC. Like that's not gonna get you past, like when Vixen Battle Jazz, she had an EMT, EBT, BET, that's not gonna get you past a big stage name. Like you gotta have some shit, you gotta try to have impactful moments. You gotta have a seatbelt won't buckle up. You gotta have a fucking, uh, what's the shit, uh, self-checkout. You gotta have some shit to blow the roof off the building. And I just don't feel like Geechee tonight or last night had the material to blow the roof off the building. I see a lot of people complaining about, oh, it's gas, oh, it's home. I'm from New York, so I already knew what it was gonna be. It's a surprise to you, it's not a surprise to me. I'm not surprised at all. My nigga, I'm from there. I've been to Webster Hall. I've been to Irving Plaza. I've been to Black Bear. I've been to all of these old venues that niggas used to have battles in. And what New York did did not surprise me none. Not at all. Um, Moo got a lot of reaction because his shit was starting to land and he had some proper setups and some proper bars. Like he that, that fucking 22, the construction, I keep the, the hide it behind the tree, 22 in my construction. You niggas, the niggas can hate if they want. But the thing is, I don't have to be the biggest fan of any battle rapper to salute and to give props if they win. I said, if Murder Move won, I'd jump back on this camera and say he won. 
I feel like he won. He won the polls. He won most of the people's thoughts and opinions. And he wins to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I felt like Gotti did not beat uh, Hollow to Dawn. I feel like Gotti's getting to a point where he's gotten way comfortable in battle rap. And the things that it took him to get where he's at, he doesn't have to do anymore. Imagine rapping your whole heart out to make 10 grand and then just showing up freestyling and, you know, I might have a round or two and getting 50 grand or 40 grand. The hunger, you know what I'm saying? It's real. I, I heard this a long time ago. A nigga told me, and one of my homies is an NBA player. He said, uh, it's real hard to get up and run four or five miles a day after you made $50 million. I'm not saying Geechee's made $50 million, but he's made really good money. I don't think he's going to somebody's job every day. Matter of fact, I know he's not. So... I'm going to work in a few. If this is all I had to do and I had to do nothing else, nigga, why this would be the life? But it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But uh, was there gas? Yes. Was Sirius Jones gassing? Fuck yes. Was right. But that's what they do. That's what they do. I'm not surprised. Um, Moot won. Who I would want to see Moot against next? Maybe Hollow. Uh, fuck it. Just let it go. Like let it happen. Nigga said they won Moot had to deliver on a big stage and whether you feel like it's gas, whether however you feel, I don't, doesn't matter to me. What you eat don't make me shit. I got murder move winning. You know what I'm saying? Any bet that I had, my bet's been taken care of. It is what it is. Pop up on that cut, bro, tryna hit a nash We gon' have to kill for any disrespect RPs be ripping when they in the flash Why you kill me out? I ain't finna jab uh, Running up them racky, just get bro a check 